and we're back for another episode. In this episode I'm going to show you how to make millions of gil an hour. As per always, first gil guide of Shadowbringers. So, um, and as always, hello from Mithri. I guess that's customary at this point. Um, so what it is basically, and I keep revisiting this topic, anyone who's been watching me for a while knows this. When a new expansion comes out, okay, everyone's super excited about doing the new content, they're in the new areas, they're doing new dungeons, they're doing new stories, and you do a little bit. Now, what happens is, is that the old content gets neglected. And I have talked about these things before in previous videos, but yet again, you have Alumen, which you can get from right here at the top of Eastern Fanalan. Right now, these Alumen on my server, at least on Sargatanis, um, A for Data Center, go for 1,000 gil each. Okay? Normal quality, as in, go for 1,000 gil each. And then you have the um, other main culprit in this scenario, the Effervescent Waters. Oop. Okay, so we teleported straight to the Effervescent Waters, which can be found in the upper paths in South Shroud. On my server right now, on Sargatanis um, Aether Data Center, these go for about 700 gil each. Simple as that. So if you're a level 20 plus miner, you can get both Effervescent Waters and Alumen. You really don't have to be that far in the story to be able to get both. And yeah, so generally guys, when I make these sort of guild guides, um, I'm, I try and identify gaps in the market for useful items that can make you a quick amount of gill. But um, of course what can happen is some people go crazy and they will farm like a thousand of them and just flood the market board. If you want to make a profit, then just sell them in small stacks. Um, don't um, flood the market. If you flood the market, then simply you'll drive the price down. Simple as that. But um, hopefully this gives you an explanation as to why these things keep happening. It's just simply a case of it's the new content takes priority, therefore the old content gets neglected. I'm sure there's a hundred different similar situations to make a quick profit from the old content. Because one thing that Final Fantasy XIV is good at is being able to make sure that old items aren't be made completely redundant and completely worthless. Because in some other games, that would actually be the case, where everything in the old content would be absolutely worthless. Therefore, there would be no reason to visit the old zones ever so at least 14 doesn't do that so i don't see it necessarily as a bad thing uh, but like i said guys there is a gap in the market right now for effervescent waters and alumen as per always they are widely needed materials they're always needed for many 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 crafting recipes and to make gill just um see identify gaps in the market see what is selling what is very low level but selling for really high amounts of gill see if you can gather them quickly so yeah so i just wanted to make this quick video guys um, i'm still progressing through the story of shadowbringers uh, before i get into my level 70 to 80 crafting series um, it is my plan actually to make a new players crafting series for 1 to 80 um, in the near future so Please look forward to it soon, TM, etc, etc, etc. So anyway, guys, if you like that video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. You can watch a random video over there. You can watch the latest upload down there. Or you can click down here to subscribe. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.